wearing cap and gown, five-month-old Cullen just graduated from the neonatal intensive care unit at USA Children's and Women's Hospital, Mobile, Alabama. What makes Cullen so special? He's born at 22 weeks. He weighed less than 14 ounces, less than a pound. And he's been in that hospital ever since birth. His parents were told Cullen had a 2% chance of survival. Now look at him, cap and gown, he's home, he's thriving. Thanks to people like Jewel Barber, one of the nurses who, number one, was carrying him in that great ceremony and, and helped uh, care for this uh, little guy. What was that moment like, Jewel, as you were holding this little guy and you're thinking, wow, he's made it? Oh, it was a wonderful moment. It Very proud. It makes our unit very proud, all the nurses and staff that works here, the doctors, um, that's a very proud moment that we strive for to get these little babies that um, that aren't supposed to be here at mm -hmm. that time when they're born. And we get them to that point uh, to get out of here and go home with their parents. It's a very wonderful moment. Yeah, it have you grasped it, Jewel? The, the, I mean, the miracle that this is, he had a 2% chance of survival. And here you are holding him cap and gown and all. Yeah, it, it's wonderful. Again, as I say, it's it's, it's one of those warm and cozy feelings that um, you just can't get over. Um, here at our hospital, um, we do we do have a 68% survival rate with these small babies. Um, so we um, we've been doing this for over a decade with the small babies. So we're getting better with them, and we hope to get better with them as we. Mm -hmm. um, we will now have a small baby unit that we're working on. So That's hopefully great. that will be better for us. Were there moments when you're thinking, oh man, he's up against it. I'm not sure he's gonna make it. Um, for Cullen, there was just a few of those moments. He is, he was a very different 22 weeker. Um, for him, he was only intubated for one month of life. The rest of the time he was on CPAP, went to, um, nasal cannula other than that he was only on antibiotics for like five days hmm. um so he was very different um all of his his labs everything were perfect so he beat most of the odds that he was up against so yeah. he was a very different premature baby and micro a, preemie as we would call him a real fighter and and, and it's your yes, care sir. that helped him get get to that place we got a special guest we want to bring in uh Robert Potter, you might know him, uh, Jewel. Yes, Dad's going to join us. Yes, yeah, I, I love him. <laughs> hey, Jewel. Hey. hey, Dad, How any message for Jewel here so we can all kind of listen in? Just that we love you so much, Jewel, and we are so happy for you to be his NICU mom, as uh, what one of the doctors called you. Uh, we told you yesterday on your birthday, you know, that we're just so happy to you are a part of our life and you know that you are family you know everybody there is family but you know you definitely hold a special place in my heart and uh, molly's heart and forever in cullen's heart oh thank y'all so much you're gonna make me cry um i love y'all too um it was a very special day yesterday was my birthday i am 45 years old young young <laughs> not old um and i spent it with them at doctor's appointments, and it was a wonderful day. Um, love you guys. Ah, oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Ju Jewel, your family now, you're gonna want constant updates on Cullen, right? Uh, oh, I will get them. <laughs> I will definitely get them. Our, um, somebody oh, yes, else will be will. getting their pampers spanked off of them. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, you hear that? We want uh, constant updates. We gotta keep up posting oh, on yeah. little Cullen. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, that's uh, we we love, you know. Of course, we love Cullen because he's our child and everything. But we love Cullen because he's showing the world that babies like him stand a chance. Uh, we were told at our local hospital that there was nothing that could be done for him and that they wouldn't do anything for him. And um, we weren't told about USA. I had to call 16 different hospitals in three different states and actually talk to one of the NICU nurses that took care of him as well, Bryant, and. Uh, you know, I told him, I said, look, I don't need a diagnosis. I just want to know, can you or can't you try to save my baby if he comes before 24 weeks? And they said, we will try. And I said, good enough for us. Wow. And we got our transferred over there. And a couple of days later, Cullen came into this world and we were scared. And I'll tell you what, with Jewel and the rest of the staff, they eased our fears and pain 
all the time. I mean, they there any down moments we ever had, they they had a way to to make us see the light at the end of the tunnel, and for, we're forever grateful and indebted to them for that. And, and, and now we, we celebrate. Uh, little Cullen's a fighter, and uh, thanks to people like Jewel, he's doing great. Jewel, thank you. Thank you for the care that you gave and for sharing the story. Dad, thanks. Go enjoy your little yeah, guy. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. We really appreciate that.